What's happening? Hey. We back. Hey, guess what I just found? What'd you find? I'm trying to figure out how this got here. What the heck? Rob. What is that? Did you tell me? Yo, what the frick? What? Did you put this here? For what? Again? Who, why did, how do those keep getting in here? It's almost like every other day it gets delivered in here. What's in here? Wait, don't be careful. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, the shiny, it was delicious. Do they leave glaze. a note? Why do they leave delicious glazed hot and ready Krispy Kreme donuts that are freaking. And why are they almost gone? Ugh, what the heck? That's weird, dude. We gotta get to the bottom of that. It's been like every day. I don't get it. Are you locking the door at night? Bro, I've been gone for three days. It can't be me, so I'm out of the picture. So we gotta figure it out. It might be someone you know. It might be. I've been getting prank calls and stuff. I don't wanna single you out, but like, I don't know, just be careful. Like, I will, dude. Anywho, I just bought some chapstick stuff today. I feel like that's what I need, cause my lips. Bro, here's an update on my lips. Did you give an update before? No. <laughs> First, First lip update. Basically like my lip was getting dry, so I would like bite it with my teeth and like peel it off. And then it would create a scab and then I'd peel that off. It was like not good. I had chapped lips this morning. <sighs> I felt off. Do you have an actual one of these or no? Yeah. Yeah, but here you go. Who the heck is that? <laughs> She's back. Yeah, it's a girl. Hey. Yo, cooties. Hey, what's up? Hey. Do you have cooties? Yeah. Figured. <laughs> Gross. Um, oh. Wanna have a seat? Yeah. So, we have no more bearded dragons in the apartment. <laughs> they all got given away. No bearded dragons, but you got a bearded rock now. Because I'm growing. Whatever. Let's watch Rob set up the light. Boring. I don't think you should have adopted a baby if you weren't ready for. Wow, wow. Well, basically, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I just wanted to feel something, dude. Can you blame me? I cannot blame you because I fooled. Yeah. We're in the crib. We're branching out, as you guys have seen. We're not locked in the apartment anymore. I want to feel something. Yeah, but then you gave it away. You didn't like the feeling. What do you want to feel? Because like that was pretty spiky. I'm just trying to feel something. That's why you have Emma. Felt it. Look at that's yeah. jeans. Like jeans. Jeans. She's had the same jeans for five days. Bruh. I was impulsive. I wanted to get a bearded dragon. I've always wanted one ever since high school. One of my teachers had one. So I went, got all the stuff. It was super cute, super nice, calm. And then the damn mealworms, bro. I thought it was gonna be like, hey, boink boink, like every day, like feed it like a hamster. Nah, bro. You gotta keep the insects alive, and then you gotta feed it crickets. And crickets do what? Chirp? Exact. Do they chirp? I think they crick. Did you hear about the wireless ones? <laughs> there was crickets in my room running free. There was a mealworm infestation on the balcony. Ooh. Somehow they got out and I was lifting up things and there was <clears throat> gross ass mealworms. The feeding that came along with the bearded dragon as well as the proper temperature with my room in the common area, it wasn't optimal conditions for a bearded dragon. I thought the conditions would have been good because I had a heat lamp. It just wasn't. Both of them broke the second day I had them and I was like, okay, I'm just spending just endless money on these damn heat lamps when I could spend my money on anything that I want. Groceries, new apartment, like whatever. Yeah, you live and you learn. But then after that, you decided to spend money on an adult one. What happened with that one was, I thought it would be easier to look after because it was fully grown and fully healthy. Turns out it was kind of a a-hole to me. Its claws were too sharp. They call me lips, cause I'm the bomb. You know, that was really good. Ryan was snacking on candy corn. Oh, hell no. Oh, excuse me. Oh. What? Ryan was snacking on this like it's this is like popcorn or something. Knew there was something wrong with him. Ryan is near flawless except for this one thing right here. Candy corn is good. It's not bad, but snacking on it like it's good for like one and that's it. Just one? <laughs> maybe maybe three. I just think it's a little odd, but candy corn, the texture. That bite looked good, but I feel like it just gets dry and just plain after a while, but. When I was in middle school, I had like half a bag that size and I ended up shitting water. <laughs> what is candy corn? Is it white chocolate? What is it? Sugar. Yeah, there's corn in it. These are vegetables, Rob. They're good, it lines with your diet. Corn, ever been to a farm? Get a load of this guy. Do you like candy corn? I'll support that. Should we talk about how I don't follow you on Instagram? Are we getting into that? I'll listen, because I follow you. Oh, you do? I do. I unfollowed Emma for a social experiment. That's what it was. Oh, okay. <laughs> and lo and behold, the audience members fell into the social experiment trap. They don't follow each other. Blah, blah, blah. I want to teach people a lesson. Mm -hmm. 
social media and Instagram is not real life. How can they be friends, but they don't follow each other? Do you follow Jesus on Instagram? No. Does that mean you don't fuck with him? That was a good point. Thank you. But wouldn't you want to support the people who are around you and be investing into their life and be curious into your life or into their life so you would be following them, right? Can you do that without following them on social media? Of course you can. I think I know exactly what you look like. Okay. I follow people that I don't necessarily see all the time. So while I do follow these goons, um, they also post more frequently than you, but that's not even what we're talking and about. And like that also, and I like funny content and quality content. Funny content. Not that you don't, because I mean, I don't follow you. Yeah, I know. But um. Anyways, um, point is, is that I'm just a really supportive person and clearly I'm surrounded by some snakes. I follow you. You do? Yes, I like all of your posts. I think they're funny. Do you I really, Emma? I promise <laughs> every single post you post. Thank you. Because I was I wasn't sure like Ryan's girl do I fuck like we're friends we're cool though we're cool we've been hanging out and stuff even if you like candy corn I'm still your friend <laughs> how many times has someone come up to you Rob or anything saying oh, you don't follow me you unfollowed me plenty of times that's like a big thing nowadays is like your relationship kind of lies on this follow and unfollow like social media when it shouldn't be what if like there's no social media then you can't have friends ever because think about it let's say Rob has his phone out okay I do it's right here I press the unfollow but you're supposed to what have a reaction to that? Like, no, I leave and I move out. Be like this. We're not friends no more. Come on. Do y'all see how that's weird? I just think people take social media too serious. That's it. I would agree with that. Emma? I mean. You're supposed to agree. But I don't fully agree. I guess I wouldn't fully agree either, but to take it too serious, I wouldn't say it's a bad thing either. Like people could do whatever they want. Definitely. People mm -hmm. can do what they want, but I think that is strange. I feel like, especially if you're telling your audience like, oh, go follow her. Like, let's get her follows, whatever. But then you can't follow that message yourself. That's a little odd. So are you telling everyone to go follow you right now? Is that what you're so doing? So basically go follow me. It's Emma dot <laughs> on Instagram. Look at that. That's me supporting you. I think it shouldn't be taken serious to the point where it's like, should I post this? What is this person going to think about me? I think then you're taking it too serious. Agreed. If this is your job or whatever social media, then I would take it serious to a certain point. Instagram, as great as it is, I think it's completely warped how people interact, period. Everyone is so worried about how they look on Instagram and their persona and their followers. And if this person doesn't have followers, then they're not worthy of my attention. Or uh, this guy has followers. That means he acts like this. As opposed to just, oh, hi. Nice to meet you. That's why I never want. What's up? Uh, mail on the gram. I like meeting people for who they are. Like Emma met me and didn't know anything about me. I didn't. And I didn't know anything about her. But then you automatically got my Instagram. I did get her Instagram. <gasps> As but more we, of a networking why, thing. But why Why did you decide to follow me then, right? Because it was like, hey, like. I had to and reel then, it in, I had to. And then once we were in, you gotta. And then you saw my IG and you said, damn, he finally F. And then I just had to. Uh, gotcha. You guys should like kiss right now or something. Put a thumbnail. <laughs> Emma would never want to do that. Emma. Why are you putting it on me? Emma, we need more views on the vlog channel. I'm trying to think of the implications of doing that. No, because think about it. It's just for work. Like you're, This is for a vlog. Like this is a work thing. Think about this. I'm a young guy, right? How do people start to view me if I'm kissing girls on the vlog channel? Here's the thing. You would be kissing your significant other. What happened? God forbid. Now, okay. <laughs> You're trying to be really cautious with what you say here. You've been getting bombarded with a lot of DMs, comments. Mm -hmm. Rhino this, Rhino that, Rhino sexy, Rhino's beautiful, Rhino's perfect. Uh, yeah, exactly. All that annoying stuff. How does that make you feel? I mean, I can't be mad at it. Like the whole reason that I've gotten the following I have has been from the vlog, so I can't complain about that. People were like, she got her clout and dipped. Mm-hmm. Did you get your clout and dip? No. I don't think you got any clout. Clout's just followers, right? Yeah. You gotta get at least on a K before you dip, right? Because I feel like any other... I'm not telling you that's what you gotta get. I'm just saying people can't say, oh, she got a clout and dip. Like, if you're gonna say that, she at least had to get 100K. I'm the one actively putting her in the things. She's not asking for this. All of your supporters have actually been super dope. Like, they're just, you guys have a really good fan base. So, that's what's cool. You don't know what life's about. Like, you came to LA, like, you met somebody, right. and you get it thrown in this. It's all fun. No, it's been good too, because I'm new here. So, so how does it feel barely coming to LA and already hanging out with the coolest guys out here? I mean, I feel pretty honored, I guess. Like, you guys are pretty cool. I sensed a little bit of unauthenticity authenticity in that statement. <laughs>
<laughs> it's just because I get nervous around you. You get nervous around me? Why? It's just a joke. I mean, Did you see the other, the first vlog when we were hanging out? No. How you were looking at me and stuff? Okay, the whole thing about she was. We watched that video. Look at, the first vlog. at this time, look at how she was looking at him and bit her lip. I'm just looking at my lips. Like, there were some looks. Do we need to pull one up on the TV? Go ahead and pull one up. You could have easily just said, like, yeah, I was looking at you like that, Ryan. <laughs> she got herself into this mess now, so. <laughs> you guys just like to bully me. It's just your initiation, but we're cool. <laughs> okay, Emma. Look at this. I've never seen anything like this before. You're the first girl to like me, so I apologize for like getting into this. Uh -huh. So Emma here got Sprite and lemonade mix. You don't see that? Right. So do you like me or not? I mean, what? I wish somebody would look at me like that. <laughs> so what's up with it? Look at how far apart we are. Come to me. You come to me. Nah, because you're the girl and stuff. I don't want to be overbearing. No, you're not overbearing. Oh, okay. Come take a seat. It'd be more comfortable, I think, if you... I feel like you'd be more comfortable because you'd be, like, on top of the... Okay. Should I go? I will... I'll go. This <laughs> guy. <laughs> so, like, I've never had my first kiss or whatever. Um... So that's crazy, though. That's crazy. Oh, shoot, I just bit my lip. It's gonna be... Awesome. Good. All right, so you're gonna kiss me or what? I have my chapstick on. All right, we'll just do it real quick for the vlog. For the vlog. For the viewers, man. For the viewers. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs>